Have you ever wondered how large mountain ranges such as the Himalaya grow? And where new faults associated with mountain building form? I'm Mike Duval from the University of Alberta, along with my co-authors John Waldron from the University of Alberta, Laurent Godin from Queen's University, and Yanni Nyman from Lancaster University, UK. And we've just published new research in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences that we're excited to share with you. We're interested in understanding faults of the world's tallest mountain range, the Himalaya. Although there are many faults in the mountains, until now, it was thought that no faults were present in the lowlands to the south. We discovered a series of faults in front of the Himalaya that have never been seen before. These faults indicate that the southernmost extent of fault movement in the Himalaya is not at the foot of the Himalayan mountains as previously thought, but rather 40 kilometers south in the flat Ganga Plain, which up until now was considered to be undeformed and free of faults. For more than 100 million years, the Indian subcontinent has been drifting northwards across an ancient ocean. In the last 50 million years, the ocean closed and India started to collide with Asia. In the course of that collision, the Himalaya, the largest mountain range in the world, has been built where two continents collided. India is at present still sliding northwards into Asia at a rate of nearly 2 centimeters per year. Along the front of the mountains are thrust faults formed where the Indian subcontinent is pushed underneath Asia. The movement is jerky, which produces earthquakes. Because this is a densely populated part of the world, these earthquakes can be catastrophic. In 2015, a major earthquake in Kathmandu, Nepal, with a magnitude of 7.8, destroyed hundreds of thousands of homes, killing nearly 9,000 and injuring more than 20,000. We use two-dimensional seismic reflection data to image what the Ganga Plain looks like beneath its surface. Seismic reflection images look like slices through the top few kilometers of the Earth's crust. These data were originally collected during petroleum exploration by recording sound waves bouncing off of sedimentary layers buried beneath the Ganga Plain. These images provide the first comprehensive picture of the subsurface in this area and highlight previously unknown faults beneath the Ganga Plain buried beneath the sediments and not visible at the surface. We demonstrate that while southeastern Nepal is currently nearly flat and therefore looks undeformed, the thrusting produced by movement of the tectonic plates has already reached this area. We also estimate that these faults have moved about 100 meters over the last 500,000 years. While there have not been any earthquakes recorded in the area since accurate scientific records began about a century ago, our results suggest the potential for earthquakes. Most of these faults only slip every thousand years or so. We have now discovered that a substantial part of this area has an almost horizontal fault underneath it, which could slip and cause a damaging earthquake. Our research opens up an important avenue for future research to better understand this newly identified seismic hazard in the densely populated Ganga Plain. We are also particularly proud to see integration of work between industry and academia result in data used for not only economic development, but also societal good. We thank you for listening and hope you enjoy reading our paper.